Hello all, in this session we will discuss tri-state buffer. In our digital electronics we have studied buffer. Buffer is having two states. One is input state, another is output state. Now in that case, whatever we give the input, we get the same as output but with some delay in the circuit. So buffer gates is basically used when we want to put some delay into our logic circuits. But over here we are having tri-state buffer, that means a buffer with three states. Now in that case, two states are as usual, one is input, another is output with logic states either 0 or 1. But now we are adding one more state that is the third state named as high impedance state which makes the buffer gate to work as an open state circuit. Now what is open state circuit? Means there we won't be having any kind of logic if that buffer gate is if that buffer gate's third state that is control state is low that means that control state will control the buffer let's see how this is our buffer in the buffer we are having two normal states one input another is output so normal input a but over here we are adding one more input that is control input that is c or it is also termed as high impedance state now what will happen is we would be having output y but on some condition and what is that condition if c is equals to 1 that means if control input is 1 then the buffer gate will work as our normal buffer gate means whatever we give input over here we would be getting the same output but the condition is that this c should be 1 but if this c value is 0 if this C value is 0, that means our gate is in high impedance state. That means we won't be getting any kind of logic output over here. 0 or 1, we won't be getting anything at the output state during control input C equals to 0. So in summary, we can say that output Y equals to A input if C equals to 1 and it is in high impedance state if C equals to 0. So this is a tri-state buffer. So now the question arises: what is the use of this tri-state buffer? Let's see the application of tri-state buffer. Now tri-state buffer can be used for the purpose of designing common bus system which we had already discussed earlier. That means that same common bus can be designed using tri-state buffer and the decoder. Let's see how. Say for example we are taking four registers. A b c d and out of this four register we are taking individual bits of those four register that is a0 b0 c0 and d0 so as you can see a0 b0 c0 and d0 are the inputs taken from the registers and they are given to this buffer gates and we are getting our normal output from all these buffer gates now the tri-state buffer the third state is remaining to this but before moving on to that let us take one decoder a 2 cross 4 decoder. Now decoder working you are knowing, you had studied into the digital electronics part. That means a decoder 2 cross 4 means 2 input lines and 4 output lines. Based on this input line, the output line will become high. Let's see the input lines. Now S1 and S0 are our normal select lines. So we are saying 2 inputs. And there is one more enable input is given for the decoders working. So one enable input is there that is E. Now the output from, from this decoder, we are connecting it to the third state of the tri-state buffer that is the control input. So the output of this decoder will control this tri-state buffers. Let's see how. Now this zeroth line we are connecting it to the tri-state buffer for A0. First line we are connecting it to the tri-state buffer for B0. Second line we are connecting it to, to in tri-state buffers control input of C0 and the last one that is we are connecting it to D0. So now you can say that circuit is almost complete. So but the output of all this goes into a single four line common bus because as you can see over here we had taken a single bits A0, B0, C0 and D0. Now if we are having four bit register then we need to repeat this particular block diagram as it is for single bit this re is to be repeated at the later part so for a1 same thing 
the second bit that is A2 and the third bit that is A3. So it can be made for the end registers. But now let's see how this works. Now consider I provide the input to this select clients to be 1, 0. So as you know that if I provide 1, 0 to the decoders input line S1 and S0, the output from second line would be enabled because 1, 0. So decimal value is 2 and corresponding second line would be enabled and we would be getting 1 from this line and rest all would be 0. So we are getting 1 and as we got 1 over here, rest all are 0. Just remember, rest all are 0. So 0 are given to the bits, but the second line will produce 1 and that is connected to the C0's tri-state buffer and C0 tri-state buffer value becomes 1. So it gets enabled and this C0's input would be getting to our output line bus. So what we would be getting? C0 is input and we would be getting it to our common line bus. Now if we are having 4 bit register then correspondingly the same way C1, C2 and C3 would be enabled for that part. So this is a single stage of 4 bit registers system. A common bus system one single stage. So you can have n number of states depending on the size of the register. So this is what is an application of tri-state buffer into our common bus system. So we can design a common bus system using tri-state buffer and a decoder.